Hi there everyone, welcome back to the colouring zone, my name is Alina, so um, I have got something a little different to show you today, so um, these are items that I'm going to be taking with me um, away, so I am going to be going to France, which is very exciting, the car's packed, everything's done, so tomorrow we're going to be waking up early and we're going to be heading our way for, for the ferry, so anyway, um, I will get started. So I've put a little bag together that I'm going to take away with me. I tend to do this and then I end up adding loads of things, but I'm going to try not to do that. Um, just because I need to limit how much stuff I'm taking because, well, I'm sure all of you know that, you know, even yourself, you, you want to take as many things as you can, don't you, away. But at the same time, when you've got children, it's like it just doubles, maybe even triples, I think, maybe. Anyway, so we will get started. So the first thing I'm taking with me is this little case. I've just put a couple of things in here. Um, I got this from the range. So these are a couple of Prisma colours that are quite short that I didn't actually have in my case, which is a bit of a hinter. I'm taking Prisma colours with me. And I've also got this Stanley knife as well, or craft knife. I was thinking about taking... Um, thinking about taking um, chalk pastels, but I'm not so sure now. Um, but that's the first item. I am going to be taking my Caran d'Ache Pablos. I just find this really convenient, this little case. Um, I do have another set, which is the Faber Castell. Um, I think they're from the classic range or, you know, they're a budget pencil. Obviously these are more high end. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love using these. Um, some of them are, they're not too bad. I don't have to sharpen them very often, which is lovely. But, you know, they like lots of layers. Um, but, yeah, they're a really nice pencil to work with. And I hope to purchase some more in the future. Maybe open stock or potentially get maybe a whole set. We'll see. So, there is that one. It's quite unusual, this tin, because it opens that way. And I just always associate opening a tin that way for some reason. But, anyway. So, those are those ones. Right, guys, you did... You did it fall off. <laughs> the camera fell down. I sort of got it balanced. I don't know. I'm having such a tough time getting the camera set up for filming it lately. Anyway, so these are my Christmas colours. They are very, very messy. You can see they're not in any particular order. I try and group them, but this ends up happening. And I have one is loose. That's quite normal too. Um, and yeah, so they're just my... They're my go-to, these are my comfort zone. These are the pencils that I worked with a lot when I first started colouring and I always go back to them. Um, even though I have, um, you know, really enjoyed using other brands of pencils as well, but those are the ones that I'm taking with me. So those, is that, that's the full set of the 150. Um, I've got a hairband in here just because I'm gonna take this with me too, but I don't know, I'll put it in my colouring bag. So there's that one. Now, I plan to... So I'm gonna be taking my electric eraser, um, a spare Chagall sharpener, and then also this little pot. So this little pot is actually my son's... Well, they're like apple and like mango or something, and they're like purees, but it came from this cute little pot and i think that would be ideal for sharpenings if i'm doing some coloring while i'm out and about when i'm in france this would be perfect if i don't take the to go sharpener depending on what i'm using and the sharpener in in there is actually done by the blue the bambino one um and it does actually have red on it bambino um so that is that one i just thought this was like a really good little pot to use what else have I got in my bag? So I have also got, so the books that I'm taking with me. So this one here is I Believe in Fairies and this is Clara Makova. Now I'm not sure which which page I might be working on. I might, I've got these as options more than anything. Um, you know, I, yeah, the weather's going to be, it is going to be nice. I really want to do that one. Um, and obviously this is Rita Berman's latest book. Um, I will not flip through all of them because there are some completed pages. I'd really like to do that one um, at some stage soon. Um, so, yeah, and obviously there are some French 
um, pages in here, which, you know, I could do, couldn't I? Seeing as I'm in France anyway. <laughs> but anyway, so there's that one. And Clara, my favourite, I believe in fairies. And then the third book that I'm taking with me is A Million Magical Creatures. So I've not worked in this one here in a little while. Um, I did have a whip in here. I still got a whip in here, um, which I really need to do. So it is. I did that one, but I didn't finish this one here off. And I was using Prisma colours. So, um, and also um, the Pastel Stabilo Carbothello um pencils pastel pencils so there's that one so i've got i could finish that off didn't i there's that one i absolutely love that paint it's so beautiful anyway so um i don't the page i do know which one i would like to work on where is it am i going to be able to find it that one i really like to do that one whilst i'm away but we'll see that's the one that i've sort of got like earmarked this one's really beautiful as well very nice. So those are those ones. Now, I also got this large pencil case that I bought from Aldi, actually. Now, I put my Bambino crayons in here, as well as the jumble pencils. Now, these are just so easy to just sit down and use. And they're, because they are jumbo thick, they're quite nice to hold as well. Um, I also put some glitter in here as well, just if I wanted to add some sparkles. And I've also got the newest, my newest addition to my washi tape collection, which is this beautiful like orange ochre colour. Um, so I actually bought this in um, Cass Art, um, which is where near where I live. So um, yeah, so I've got that one. So I'm just gonna pop those at the back. Zip that one up. Almost there, guys. So that's my other to go sharpener that I'm currently using. So it's just in case that one there decides to um, stop working, which does happen. When I was visiting family, my sharpener wasn't working. Yeah, so what I was saying is the to go sharpener, um, I'm not sure whether it was this one, but they. Um, that it just wasn't working the sharpener that I bought so now I take spares with me just in case so I'm going to be taking the artful watercolour paint as well um I have got some brushes that I've packed and I will need to go and grab my um I need to go and grab my other pencil case because it's not there um but as you can see this is quite messy but do you know what I actually quite like it I don't really want to be cleaning it off and actually I can this pigment is still usable and although I've mixed some of the colours, like, yeah, it doesn't bother me. It, previously, when I first got it, um, I was being quite particular, but now I'm like, no, it's, this is what it's, in my opinion, this is what it's for. Um, so I'm not going to be, you know, all about making it really, really sparkly and clean because, you know, art is messy, isn't it, in my opinion. Um, so, the next couple of items are, so I'm going to take these Distress Inks with me um, and see how I fare with these. I'm hoping to use these in the um, Rita Berman's Travel for Europe book. And then I've also, so rather than taking all the little individual water sets that I've got from like um, Rebecca's paint, so um, Art Spirits and also Renaissance. And I think there are a couple of others as well, could be wrong. But anyway, so what I've done is I've put them all in this tin just so it's easier to, to store. So, oh yeah, I have got the bits in here. So I have got the dot cards um and i also have some embellishment things and some dot cards from archie paints i believe this this lady's called i have got some of her paints but i'm going to take the dot cards because um there is still quite a lot left on them and i think they're really nice colors so these ones are the art spirits ocean set 
These ones are um, Alice in Wonderland. This one is Wizard of Oz. And these one was a custom set and I've taken out a few. This one's Rusty Gold, um, Rose Gold, um, Magic Fairy Dust, Disco Dust and Rainbow Dust. I absolutely love those. I'm particularly using them in um, my Lulu Mail books as well. So um, I've got a rubber in here as well, just in case. And Rebecca, she um, she's such a lovely lady and she puts so much thought and effort into her packaging, she really does. So she gives you like these little embellishments and I'm sure I've shown it on the channel before, but um, she also sends these little bottles, which I just think are so sweet. So um, yeah, I might use these on a page. But um, yeah, so those are those ones. Um, I mean, if I had the dot cards for these, I would definitely take them rather than the paints. But um, I'm going for a week, which I know is not that long. But um, you know, it's, it's just it's just nice to have that option, isn't it? So I'm going to pop that on there, back in there. Now I am going to grab the last thing. So the last items. I say items. And there's a lot in this pencil case as you can see it's um it is quite full i'm going to put this off to the side and then just give you an overview of what's in here rather than going for each individual thing um so i have got quite a few of um white gel pens so i've got an artesa one here and i've also got um some other brands like um the signo uniball signo as well I've got a few paint brushes. This one here is a really, really cheap one that I got from Amazon. So I'm planning to use this with um, Rebecca's um, glitter sort of paints um, because obviously the little pieces of glitter can damage your brushes quite a lot. Um, so I do tend to sort of separate them. This one here is also quite a cheap brush. Um, I have actually been using this on a particular page, which you will see quite soon, actually. So, um, yeah, so those are those ones. I've also got some black sort of um, fine liners. So this one here is actually a Pit Artist brush pen, and it's this one's from Faber-Castell. And as I said, it is a brush one. Um, but I have used this on the same page as I've used this brush, and actually it worked really nicely. I've got a couple of blenders in here as well. So I've definitely got the Prismacolor one, as you can see. Um, and then I think I've also got, yeah, I've also got the Caran Dash blender stick as well. Um, these are things that I tend to keep in here rather than taking them out. I've got pencil, um, clear, secure, glaze. My retractable rubber i'm still not sure and this is by pentel i'm not sure where my mono zero eraser is i've also got another little paintbrush in here a derwent blender which i believe actually doesn't have the derwent blender in it it's got zest in it at the moment that i've put in there and i've also got my quickie glue pen as well and also the Holbein soft white. I can't, I can't, for some reason I can't be saying Holbein. Holbein <laughs> coloured pencils. So this one here is the soft white and then this one here is um, just the normal white. And I've also got a few gel pens. So this one here is silver. This one smudges so much. Um, I've used it on a page which you'll see in my completed pages which I will be hopefully releasing in the next couple of weeks um but yeah it really does smudge a lot so i would highly recommend using this one last um i use this one here quite a lot i absolutely love this color this is the bronze and it's the uniball signal and then this one is the secura stardust so this one here is a clear one um so i've got a few bits in there and a couple of water brushes as well um so yeah so that they are all of the items that i'm taking away with me 
the camera fell off for the third time. <laughs> so anyway, so yeah, um, I've got quite a few items in this one. Um, and this brush is going to get quite frayed, but I might actually put it in the Prismacolor pouch and then hopefully it won't be as bad. Um, it's okay for the smaller ones, I suppose, but yeah. And I've also got some pencil extenders in here as well, which I did forget to mention, because as you can see from my Prismacolors, they are particularly, some of them are very, very short. Um, and I do end up losing some of them. So it's quite good having the pencil extenders because then they don't sort of get lost in the case itself um anyway i'm gonna leave it there thank you very much for watching please drop me a comment down below i do read every single one of them and i really do appreciate your support guys um give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please consider subscribing if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one happy coloring everyone bye